Okay, Def9719, you've made some definite improvements. You're enunciating your words more, and you're showing more personality. You refer to yourself in third person like a lot of WWE wrestlers and egotistical YouTubers, which is a good thing. I think you should move even higher from this progression, as that'll be beneficial to you. I'm just going to call you Def from now on. Because that's how you refer to yourself. Whereas I refer to myself as Leon Red or Mr. Wonka 7. Going all the way with my username. Okay. Now, you advocate a national shoplifting day where you basically non violently or not use non aggression to take as much of these said resources from places that use sweatshop labor. Now part of the reason why I think that might be a bad idea is because when this l tremendous loss is made, market price declines not just there in that store but in that community because you have the investors and uh, the person who owns that place is investing less people are less investing less on that guy okay that store owner that entrepreneur that's not a good idea but more importantly more importantly those sweatshop laborers who yes even I care about them their work will be discredited if the capital to which they make is destroyed or stolen or not used to its proper intent. Their labor, what they earn, is discredited. It doesn't. It's like it never happened. Like it never did anything. They expended energy for nothing. They've if nine out of ten of what's produced is destroyed, then 9 out of 10 of those workers, laborers, are essentially discredited. Never even happened. They earn nothing. That's not good. Especially since these people follow a quota system. Thus, I don't really understand the implications of what you're advocating. Especially because you told, tell us that in three days, uh, uh, uh December 5th, I for, thought we were in October or November, we're in December already, in December 5th, you say that we should occupy the place that we work in, or a state corporatist area, like the police system, or police department, the MTA, something like this, and there's a problem with this statement. When you occupy a place that's backed, not even like Wall Street, a place like this, a place like a police department, and you're a worker there. You could be a worker there and you lead a strike. Not only are you going to prison, but you're going to owe millions of dollars. That's what happened a few years back. That guy who was protesting in the MTA and he allowed to strike with the workers. Yes, he was unionized, but in the end it backfired. Now he's in prison facing a charge of millions upon millions of dollars. You don't want to be that guy. There's not going to be an incentive to be this guy. I think that I don't. Going back to sweatshop labor thing, yes, I don't agree with sweatshop laborers. Because they use a quota system. And a quota system disincentivizes a f proper labor, utilities, utility in labor. Is it efficient? Maybe. You're definitely going to produce as much as what's been said if there's a due date. But you won't have the incentive to have it work in a utility. It's going to be mediocre work. You're going to make a shittier 
clothes, toys, shoes. Okay, going back for going forward again. So if these workers are on a strike, what if they're occupying a non-unionized place? That'd be even worse. Cause they might be able to form a barter and get higher money, but that's not what they're looking for most of the time. And really, that's how a union should be for a non-syndicalist, non-leftist firm or institution, but really what they're really worried about is their jobs, and they're not going to be able to keep that with the formation of a union. It's not going to happen. And so this is all I got to say to you, Def. I definitely like the new charisma. I disagree with a lot of what you say, and I am going to mirror this very soon. So don't worry. Don't worry. I got your back. You can make a response to this if you want. But really, you should subscribe. Because I've been helping your ass for quite a while now. And I expect a bit of an award, really. I mean, how many videos did I make in regards to you so far counting this? Three. Alright, man, you gotta subscribe.